Okay, hi everybody. Just got out of the shower, hair is wet. Thought I would just uh, film this get ready with me. Um, and uh, I'll just go through my normal steps and processes and show you what I'm using and wearing. And um, I'm basically gonna do a voiceover because I get so distracted when I'm doing this that <laughs> I just forget to stop and show you. So I thought I'll just film it and then um, I'll just make comments later. So let's get started. First I'm using Surf Form Spray. It just adds a little texture, kind of that uh, it has sea salt spray and it's nice. I'm using the Dry Bar um, Hair Dry Blower and you might think, well, my hair is short, do I really need it? It's super fast, it cuts down on static and results are great. And as you can see, I just use my fingers to put my hair in place. Now I'm just kind of going over my face a little. It's really hot in the bathroom, as you can tell, and humid. Next, I'm using a spoolie to brush my eyebrows upward and just wiping some of that excess wet off my face. I'm using Guerlain as a color corrector, very little bit, tapping it underneath my eye area. I also like to place a little bit down the center of my nose. Take special care in this area because your eye area skin is so delicate. I'm going to use a little MAC to cover up a few little blemishes that I'm having right now. And then I'm going to show you that I'm shaking up my Clinique BB Cream. This is the acne um, type of BB Cream with Clinique and I really love it. It's light, it's matte, and it has great coverage. I'm using my Beauty Blender and I pretty much just tap all over and get a perfectly flawless application. The two combined, Clinique BB Cream and the Beauty Blender, are great. I know some people don't really enjoy the Beauty Blender, but I do, especially with this Clinique um, BB Cream. And this BB Cream really keeps my oils at bay. Next, I'm going to apply the Rodin and Fields Mineral Peptide Powder. I use my IT Cosmetic Powder Brush. I head right down the center of my face in that T-zone area. And I just like to keep buffing my skin out. Next, I'm going to put that MAC concealer back over a couple of those blemishes that seem to um, peek through my BB cream a bit. I'll fluff my hair up a little bit with my fingers and then I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'll brush my um, brows up a little bit with a spoolie and just very lightly have to draw in a few little lashes. Um, it's quick, fast, and easy, and I do love the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, as you know, I've had my um, eyebrows microbladed, so the process for me now is literally cut down drastically. I love my eyebrows being uh, microbladed. It sure is nice going and cutting my eyebrow process from 45 minutes down to 5 minutes because it's microbladed. Straightening my hair out again because it's hot in the bathroom, I'm going to apply MAC Painterly Pot. It's a really nice neutral color for your eyelids. And my favorite product, Anastasia Brow Gel. I just cannot live without it. Okay, I'll just talk my way through this one. I have just spent the last 10 minutes looking for my... Prep and Prime by MAC, which was sitting right here on the counter, and I kept looking in the drawers, and I couldn't find it, and it's hot in the bathroom because it's humid out today, and so I put my hair up in a little couple of those rollers there, and now I found it, so let's get back with this. I'm going to use Max Prepping Prime under my eyes and then I will tap it in with a brush just to spread it all around. I love it. I also go down the center of my nose with it. It's great. Next I'm going to use my Chanel liner and I'm going to line um, the tight line above my um, upper lid and also on my lower lid. I love this liner. It's in black. Um, it stays on. It doesn't smear. It's great. And then I'm going to use the ombre. Um, it's a light rose pink color. It's so soft. It's so subtle. 
Um, it has a little bit of uh, shimmer to it, not a lot. And I know what they say, you shouldn't be wearing that when you're older, but I love it. And then I'm going to complement it with a Marc Jacob um, Lolita eyeshadow palette, which I also love. Very soft, neutral colors. And I just think that the um, end result turned out really, really pretty. I use this combination a lot um, with the Marc Jacob. And the Chanel uh, Ombre... I'll link the color below. It's so soft and it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. That has been a recently new purchase for me. I love the colors in this Marc Jacob Lolita palette. Um, they're soft, they're very pretty, um, and they blend. The powders blend beautifully. So that was really one of my favorite palettes this year. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes a little bit and I'm going to use a spoolie to just separate them before I apply some mascara. I also use a little bit of the dark brown color from the Marc Jacob palette to line my um, lower lids and uh, it has a great staying power. Next, my lashes are ready for mascara, and I am using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Extravagant Mascara. It's almost to the end. It's getting a little bit dry. Um, I kind of had a little bit of uh, difficulty with this particular tube of mascara, but I do, do love that mascara. And as you can see, I continue over to the next eye, um, curl it, use a spoolie to separate the lashes, and then... Uh, Put on that application of mascara. And I applied the mascara to uh, my upper eyelash area and my lower eyelash area. Um, it's a great mascara, lasts all day, and really looks nice. Now just a quick glance of the end result of the soft shadows. I'm happy with it. Another purchase is the Bobbi Brown Pressed Powder in the Pale Yellow. I am using this to help uh, cut down on the oiliness that I have on my skin, especially during the hot summer months. I like to apply it with a big powder brush and go right down the center of my T-zone area. Next is the Chanel. Um, I will link the color below. I'm using a brush that I had used yesterday. As you can see, it probably uh, came on just a little bit too heavy, but I love this color. It is my favorite go-to blush. It's so, so pretty. I'm going to use this little sample Too Faced. Um, I have to contour a little bit under my cheeks and I do like to contour the side of my nose just a little bit. I do it very lightly and then when um, I'm finished I'll go ahead in with a heavy powder brush and just kind of blend it all in so it, I can give it as much of a natural look as possible. Next is my all-time favorite Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder Pink Glow. I just love to rub a little bit on my upper cheekbone area and my above my brow and I love, love this beautiful pink glow. It does exactly what the name says. It gives you a soft, subtle pink glow look. And anytime you think you've done it up just a little too much, go over it with your um, powder brush. Now I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk liner for my lips and um, once I line my lips I'll rub a little bit all over and then I will use my Dior um, gloss. Oh, I love the combination of those two together. Again a nice soft pink glow for your lips. It looks so natural. And I'm going to just finish up, fluff up my hair, and uh, put a little bit of pomade on it and get it into place and be done. I do a little teasing. 
Well, guys, this was my very um, unprofessional makeup kind of get ready voiceover with me. Um, I am far from being a makeup artist, don't claim to be, but this is how I put my face together. Summertime favorites, I have just um, very light, um, that was Marc Jacob, um, eyeshadow that I used in the crease of my eyes and then the Chanel Ombre in a really pretty, um, yeah, it's kind of like a subtle frosted pink and I know that everybody says, you know, you shouldn't be wearing frosted um, eyeshadow when you're older, but called Ombre Premier Longwear Cream Eyeshadow. It really, really is very subtle, very pretty. You can build it up, but I think it adds, um, you know, some brightness to my eyes. And listen, anything I can do to make those old eyes look a little bit younger, I'll do it. So. This is kind of just my um, light version. I don't have any foundation on. I used the Clinique BB Cream, as you could see. And the reason I had to stop is because I couldn't find my matte um, prep and prime. And there it was right there on my countertop because I had already taken it out. And um, as you can see, just a little bit of glow on my cheeks. And that's from the Bobbi Brown pink glow that I've shown so many times that I absolutely love because you saw earlier I had to go in with my matte concealer and this is the studio finish SPF 35 concealer because I have a few little breakouts and part of it I believe is because it's been so humid here and uh, my face has really really been just kind of bogged down with some oil. So I went ahead and I made this purchase for the new, well, it's the Bobbi Brown, it's called the Pale Yellow Sheer Finish Pressed Powder. And the reason I got this is because this T-zone area especially, and even on my chin, um, you know, I do think you get a lot of breakouts sometimes just from the cell phone. Um, but I just get clogged pores oily and I do take great care of my skin because as you know I am a skincare consultant with Rodan and Fields and I use their skincare products but um, for some reason with this high humidity I've just had a few more breakouts I decided to try more of a pressed powder and see how uh, you know something with good quality ingredients and see how I do with it and hopefully you know I won't get uh, any um, more breakout because sometimes powder will do that but I do love the Bobbi Brown products I find that they're very soothing and good for my skin um, or my skin doesn't uh, break out and this is the combination that I talked about in um, a previous video with the Dior and um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, liner and um, I think this makes for a really pretty summer look um, I might have gone just a little bit more on the blush because um, I used a brush from yesterday which was the same um, blush on it, but I hadn't cleaned it, so it had a little excess on it. But uh, I do, that's another um, tip I'll give you, I do clean my brushes at least once a week, wash them all out. I just think that's a great uh, skincare tip, it helps cut down on um, just some of the uh, bacterias that build up on the brush from, you know, um, prior use. And uh, I chose not to use a primer today um, because I just kind of wanted to keep my skin light and airy. And so for a little bit of protection, I do have on an SPF that I put on after I did my face wash. And then I used the Rodin and Fields Mineral Peptide Powder. And... Um, this does have an SPF in it, and I believe it's 20. So I'm getting just that little extra protection. Um, so until next time, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, be kind, be humble, eat gracefully, and remember, I am far from being a makeup artist. Don't claim to be, but just an informal, this is how I get myself ready. Until next time, have a great day.